Germline cells are the only cells that can undergo meiosis as well as mitosis. They undergo meiosis to produce haploid gametes to fuse to form a diploid embryo that eventually grows into an adult. Meiosis 1 results in two unique daughter cells that have half the amount of DNA as the germline cell. Meiosis 2 results in four unique haploid cells that only have one copy of each chromosome and these haploid cells are the gametes that can produce an offspring through sexual reproduction. In interphase, there are three stages, G1, S, G2. In G1, the cell grows in size. In S phase, the cell duplicates DNA in organisms. G2 is where the cell duplicates centrals and prepares for division. Primarily, DNA replication occurs in the interphase for prophase 1 to take place and for meiosis to begin. Meiosis is a type of cell division with the sole purpose of sexual reproduction. Through the process of meiosis, haploids, gametes like sperm and eggs are produced. In prophase, the chromosomes condense into chromatids, making them visible. The nuclear envelope starts to disappear. When the chromatids pair up, sometimes they cross over. Also in this phase, the centrals move to opposite poles. Crossing over is when non-sister chromatids exchange parts of DNA with each other. This process only occurs once, only in prophase 1. The purpose of this is to create a more varying gene pool. In metaphase 1, the homologous pairs line up along the equator of the cell. The spindle fibers from the centrals attach themselves to the centromere of each pair of chromatids. In anaphase 1, the spindle fibers pull the homologous pairs apart and into their respective poles. The cell also begins to widen to accommodate the movement of the sister chromatids. In telophase 1, the spindle fibers disappear and the nuclear envelope forms around each homologous pair. The cleavage furrow forms and separates the nuclei from each other. Prophase 2, the chromosomes reform and the two nuclei break apart. Then the centrioles send out spindle fibers and connect to the centromeres of the chromosomes. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up at the center and is in the same direction as it would be in mitosis. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids separate into chromosomes as spindle fibers, pull them to each of the poles. In telophase 2, the chromosomes unwind into chromatin and the nuclei reforms. The cytoplasm divides and produces four genetically different haploid cells. A non-disjunction in meiosis 1 occurs when homologous chromosomes fail to separate properly during anaphase 1. One gamete receives two of the same sort of chromosome and the other gamete receives no copy. A non-disjunction in meiosis 2 occurs when sister chromatids fail to separate properly during anaphase. One gamete receives two of the same sort of chromatid and the other gamete receives no copy. Some gametes are unaffected. Non-disjunction can result in a number of different conditions and consequences. These include Down syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Supermales, Triple X syndrome, or Edwards syndrome, and in this case, ours was Down syndrome or Trisomy 21. This causes physical and mental developmental delays and disabilities. Some of the symptoms of our karyotype include decreased or poor muscle tone, short neck, small head, ears, and mouth, wide short hands with short fingers. So overall, non-disjunction will lead to a wide variety of chromosomal disorders.